Hello. Hello! Welcome to our presentation. This is my colleague Verena Kersten and my name is Kobin Rinkum. We are talking today about our paper Accuracy of AI-generated captions with collaborative manual corrections in real time. Captions are a necessary accessibility tool for deaf and hard of hearing individuals. For this video here that we pre-recorded, it was pretty easy to generate accurate captions. However, for live events, it's a lot harder to generate accurate captions. Today, there are two common solutions that enable real-time transcription. Captions can be generated manually by professionals using stenography or re-speaking. But these professionals are costly and scarce. The other approach is generating captions automatically through automatic speech recognition. ASR is cheap and widely available but often lacks accuracy to the degree that the resulting transcript may not be understandable to users. In higher education settings, online lectures, talks and seminars are increasingly common and these need to be made accessible for all students. We therefore need a scalable and cost-efficient solution to this problem. One possible solution is a semi-automatic workflow in which students or members of the audience correct a script that has been generated by automatic speech recognition. To assess the semi-automatic workflow, we conducted a user test, in which higher education students corrected AI-generated captions for a video lecture. We developed a prototype that enables collaborative corrections in real time. Afterwards, we used the results to evaluate the captions' accuracy before and after manual correction. We measured the accuracy of our captions using the word error rate, which is a ratio of errors in the transcript to the total numbers of words spoken. Initially, our AI-generated text had a word error rate of 8.8%. After manual corrections, this was reduced to 6.1%. Related studies found that manual corrections of captions could reduce the word error rate by around 50%. However, in our study, we only found a reduction of 30%. We think this could be because editing and correcting captions in real time is a lot more demanding, as you can't slow down, rewind or read the text again. There is no defined threshold that marks captions as either accessible or not. And given the remaining errors in our transcript, we are actually unsure of whether the corrected transcript is sufficiently accessible for deaf and hard of hearing individuals. We also did a qualitative analysis. Human readers marked errors in the transcript regarding text understanding. They classified 72 errors as serious. On average, 43% of these errors were corrected through manual editing. This is a slightly higher decrease compared to the word error rate, which was only reduced around 30%. Manual corrections seem to have bigger impact on meaningful errors than pure text accuracy. We have a few more evaluations, findings and also some nice graphs, but unfortunately we only have three minutes here. If you are interested to read our paper or even better meet us here in Hamburg, please come along, find us, ask questions, let's have a chat.